Okay, so this is just a quick video to share with you guys some tips that I was, or some issues I was having um, with my files. I'm being fairly new to 3D Vista, so i um, trying to sort of wade through some of these things and I figured it might be helpful for some of you who are also new, who maybe are not sure kind of what's happening when they're creating a file. And then when you go back to reopen your project, um, all, a lot of the, your, your uh, images are missing and you have to reconnect them and such. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And so I figured out a kind of a, a best practice, at least for me, that works really well and sort of wraps all the um, images and all of your skins and everything into one package. So when you go to open that up the next time, you don't have to go hunt down your files. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I don't know if this has happened to any of you, but it's pretty frustrating when you're trying to open up a project and... Um, you know, you've been, you spend a couple weeks and you, oh, and you go to reopen it and you've moved some images around or you've reorganized your folders or what have you and so you, you go to open up your file and you get something like, see there's, there's you get something, we'll give it a second here. So it's trying to load and then it's going to say something like, this is missing, right? So you're like, oh darn. So you, they're like, do you want to go find it? So you read this out and you're like, okay, where was that? Okay. So it's on Framingham Visual, blah, blah, blah. So you go and you're like, okay, I'll find that. And I'll, I'll go, I'm just going to grab a picture or whatever. So it wants, to, it wants to relink to the original picture. So you're going to click on that and say open. And then, you know, it's going to ask you more. Anyway, so long story short, um, a lot of times you can go and find them and it'll reconnect. But recently I even had it to where it just would not allow me to reopen the, the project at all because it couldn't find them or the dimensions were wrong. And I just got stuck. So um, long story short, it's a much better idea to, to basically sort of pack everything up into one single file and, and then have your fo project folder and your images, even if they're, they're going to be copies of everything, in one folder. Um, and if you're like me, um, when you're creating a project, I'm going to go ahead and say no here, and it's going to, when you're creating this, it's, it's just a mess. And I'm sure if, if you've experienced this, you know what I'm talking about. So you just can't get it open, or if you do get it open, it just takes forever. And um, so, um, but if you're like me, you, um, you, when you're creating a virtual tour, you're pulling images. You're pulling um, maybe some graphics from one area, or you're pulling some images from another, or some panels from another project, or, or what have you. So your images are coming from all over the place. And so what's going to happen is, if you were to move or delete any of those images, they are actually tied to this project. And so um, it makes a mess. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. This is just a test so you guys could see this. But um, And I went ahead and created another test folder. So this would be your project folder. And this is where your, um, this is the better practice. So what you're going to do is you're going to, if you can finally get your project open um, or creating your new project, um, I'm going to go ahead and just open up one that I have that I can open that works. And the reason it works is because everything is in this in this same folder. So go here to see here. I've got the media, the pop-ups, the skin, and everything, and here's my project. I'm going to show you how I create how I did this. It's pretty simple, but um, it does take a few extra steps, but it's really worth it in the long run. So so assuming that you get your project open and you haven't done this part yet and you still have your pictures and they're all over the place. Um, what I recommend to do, and, and maybe some of the people have some different uh, suggestions, but this is sort of what works for me and seems to be working pretty well, is to um, go ahead and create your project. We're waiting for this to load. Go ahead and create your project. Get your skin, get all of the pictures and everything in there the way you like it. Um, and once you get it um, done while you're working on it, um, and before you quit for the day, um, wherever you're at, um, so this project is done. It's got all. It's got my. It's got the skin on it that I want. It's got my different photo albums. It's got my. It's got everything in here. It's got a video. Oh, that's, this one doesn't have a video. So I've got my skin. I've got all that. So two things. Um, either when you're done getting everything in, or when you're getting ready to quit and you've been working on your project for the day, this is the time. The very first time you're going to do this is you're going to come over here and you're going to say file. And you're going to say export, and you're going to say create project backup with media. What this is going to do is this, going, is this is going to take all of your files and um, and put them into that 
folder structure that I just showed you and create a whole new project for you. And basically it's going to copy all the images from all over your computer and so they're all going to be living right in that same thing. And what I like to do here is go right back into that folder that I was just working in and I'm going to, so that was on the desktop because I created a test for you. So, um, um, so here, and I'm just going to drop it right in the, in the, in the folder that I'm working in. You know, you have your own structure or what have you, but just put it in there. It's going to create a generic um, folder name. That's fine. You can say select that folder. And basically what it's doing right now is it's packing everything up so that you can um, also take it to another computer, but even just right on your own computer. I'll show you what happens here. So I'm going to go to the desktop here because that's where I save this. I'm, I normally save things in my folders, but because I'm you know, showing this to you, I'm going to keep this simple. Um, so I'm going to go in here. And so what you can see is um, it created this folder right here. And if you open this folder, there it is. There's your project and everything. So what I like to do is go ahead and rename this to whatever it is. So I'm going to call it, oh, and I've already done that above here. See where it says Framingham Project? But I'm going to say, I'm going to do it here so you can see. And I'll say two just so that it isn't confusing. And, um, and then I also like to go ahead and go in here and then rename this one too. I usually like to put a dash in these. Okay, so now that's there, and so at this point, since you've created this, you could delete that old one. It's not in here, but you can delete that one that you had because now you have this backup. So what I like to do to test that out is I like to go ahead and, um, normally I would have saved that first, but anyway, I'll go ahead and close this because I didn't actually do anything in there. And so assuming that um, that old one was in here, it's not anymore because um, I had already deleted it, but assuming that one you were working on is in here, you can delete it. Or sometimes you might just want to throw it in an archive folder just in case. Um, so that's what I've done here. I threw those in, the, in an archive folder just in case. But um, you open this up and there it is. So you click on that. And now that now when you start working on your project, um, it's a few extra steps, but this is much cleaner for you. Um, the key will be, and you always, want, you always want to test this and make sure it does open and everything's there and it's all working. The key will be now as you move forward, if you add any new images, you either need to do this again or um, copy those images into these folders. So just make sure you put them in here so that it um, uh, is grabbing them from here or even just drop them in into this folder so that they're all packed in this Framingham project. They don't necessarily need to go into these folders. You could drop them in here. Just make sure they're all together so if you were to go to another um, computer or anything, they're all, they're all right here. So. Uh, let's go ahead and just double check that right here. So everything's working great. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, I know I really struggled with this and I was getting very frustrated after working on a few projects to go back and not be able to open them or having to reconnect all the images. So, um, okay, thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed. Um, and also I'm trying to um, increase my likes on, uh, on YouTube. So if you wouldn't mind um, going ahead and following me and, uh, and liking this video, I would very much appreciate it.